kiss for you. Hey guys, how are you going? Today we're actually gonna I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to play cover carries on the PC. So what you wanna do is you just wanna Google BlueStacks. Um, BlueStacks is actually an Android emulator, so what that means is it makes your PC think it's a tablet, pretty much, an Android tablet. So anyway, you want to go ahead and click download, follow the prompts, click run and everything. You should probably know how to do that. And once that's all done, you'll have an icon on your desktop. So when every time you boot it up, it does take a little while to actually turn into an Android tablet, if you want to put it like that. But I'll skip to when it's loaded. Okay guys, so we're back here. Once you you first um, load it up, it's gonna actually want you to log in with your Google account. So if you don't have one and you're just an Apple player like I am, you can just log in with like your normal Gmail account. It's all the same, it all links up. So anyway, once you have downloaded this and you're all set up, you wanna go to the Play Store, and of course you're gonna wanna look up Celtic Heroes. It's a little bit slow because I don't really know why it's slow. So yeah, it's here. You wanna go download, it'll be here. Since I already have it downloaded of course, I'm gonna go open it and I'll show you how to bind controls. So you can actually go full screen if you want, which is pretty cool. So that's what I'll do. Just loading here. So once you're in, you can just log in. I'll blur this out. So once you're logged in, It'll just be like a normal game. It runs really smoothly, it's really nice. And yeah, so, currently at 2.15, but we already killed it. <laughs> the other clan actually thinks it's still up. Or due. But I'm just gonna go to the laystone and I'll show you how to bind. So, what you wanna do is you wanna open this little keyboard icon down the bottom here and you're actually, I'll get rid of all these, you're actually brought up with an interface that gives you a bunch of options you can put on your screen and pretty much make it look like a button. Like bind one of these to your keys, what I'm trying to say. So to, ma to have like a D-log thing, you wanna click this little, this little thing up here, this one right here, I don't really know how to describe it little D-log thing and you actually want to bring it down here and you make it a little bit bigger so, yeah. you click save and now you can actually use your WASD keys to move around which I think is really cool so you can so I'm holding W right now to go forward and I can just control where I look with by dragging the screen so I think that's really cool. I mean, this is how I actually record my videos now. So, because as you can see, the game looks really clean. If you want, you can go ahead and bind your skills. So to do that, you just want to click on your skill and press whatever button you want on your keyboard. So if I press one on my steady aim here and click save, that means every time I press one, it'll do my steady aim. But I don't really bother with that, I just click on the skills, I find that a lot easier. Like, I don't know, can't really be bothered to remember where all my skills are, what numbers, but you can fill around with that, just this little keyboard icon. The one flaw this has, right, is if you use the chat and say anything, so I'll just say hey, it actually, for some reason, negates your binding. So, that's a little flaw I've found, so if you use the chat, it actually, re I if anyone knows how to fix this, please let me know, but 
to fix it, you actually have to full exit the game and then reload it. So it's a little bit annoying. But anyway, I hope you learned something. For those who wanted to know, it, just a little quick guide. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll catch you later.